Hello traders, this is Okana and we are back with another Japanese candlesticks for beginners video. This time I'm going to talk about Japanese candlesticks bearish continuation patterns, which means when we are in a downtrend we are looking for continuation patterns by analyzing the candlesticks. So before you watch this video, go to our Japanese candlesticks playlist and uh, start with the simple basic Japanese candlesticks videos where I explain uh, in general about in general about candlesticks uh, before you move on so you have an understanding and I've also already covered con uh, bullish continuation patterns on dojis and pin bars so check them out and uh, so uh, as I said this time we're looking for bearish continuation patterns so we all these patterns that I talk about now, uh, the seven patterns I'm going to show you, because I showed you seven continuation bullish continuation patterns last time, so now we're going to take a look at seven bearish continuation patterns. And all of them will occur in a downtrend. That's, when, that's where you want to look for them, because they're going to signal that the downtrend, whether the downtrend is going to continue or not. So as I as always, <clears throat> um, make sure you have other confirmations. Don't just trade based on the candlesticks. So I want to make that clear, so you don't jump in a trade immediately after you see a uh, candlestick a candlestick formation. That's not the way to trade it. Uh, these are just uh, it's just an observation to have with your strategy and with your other confirmations. So make sure you have at least three other confirmations before you jump in a trade. So uh, if you look at the picture, the first one is called bearish falling three methods. So as you can see, the first candle is a, is a down going, is a bearish candle um, shown in black. And then there are three bullish candles, candlesticks, uh, smaller ones that go up. And as you can see, the last one does not close above the bearish candle okay uh, above the first candle it does close below it and the uh, last candlestick also a long a long black uh, bearish candle going down it covers the volume of the previous all the previous candles and closes uh, below every other candle so it indicates that the trend is still moving downwards now uh, I uh, I always say that you're not going to find the exactly textbook looking candlesticks that you see here on the charts because uh, if you look at this area here for example here on the chart you see so you have one red bearish candle same thing as the black candle in the picture here so you have one red candle and then three bullish candles and then one red candle just like in the picture but uh, not exactly with the same volume, not you don't have three small bulls, and this one actually um, closes above the first bearish candle, but not uh, the previous one before it. And then the fifth candlestick does not close over the volume of all the previous candles; it closes a little bit shorter. But then uh, this one does. So uh, you, as you can see, the textbook uh, can candlestick pattern is not really. Uh, as accurate as uh, real market data but you can see this kind of looks like the bearish falling three methods and then it depends which uh, time frame you're looking at maybe you find a better one on another time frame so keep that in mind uh, they don't always look exactly like the textbook version so let's um, move on to the next uh, formation called bearish downside gap three methods okay bearish downside gap three methods so look at the picture first three candlesticks consists uh, this uh, candlestick formation of right so you have two down going two down going candlesticks two bearish candlesticks and obviously the market is on a downtrend and there's a slight gap between the two long black candlesticks, as you can see in the picture. 
there's a slight gap from where the other one opens after the first one has closed and then uh, the white candlestick opens slightly higher um, within the second candlestick's body as you can see and it fills the gap that was created between the two first candlesticks so it goes up and closes uh, the gap in between there so this is called the bearish downside gap three method so it includes the name uh, gap in the title so this also means uh, continuation now we can move on to bearish downside Tasuki gap also three candlesticks looks pretty similar to the previous formation looks uh, quite similar to the gap gap three methods we just uh, spoke of so the Tasuki gap pattern consists of three candles uh, three candlesticks and uh, just like previous one you have two bearish candlesticks you have a gap and uh, s but the uh, bullish candlesticks open higher up uh, in relation to the body of the second candlestick and it o and it also closes and covers the gap between uh, the two previous candlesticks so occurs in a downtrend as usual because it's a signal for bearish continuation now we can move on to the formation number four which is called bearish in neck pattern bearish in neck pattern two candlesticks one black and one bull notice the gap between the two candlesticks so there is one candlestick that is bearish because it, we are in a downtrend so price is moving down and then there is a gap and then the buyers enter the market so they close the candlestick the bullish candlestick with a gap in relation to the first candlestick that is also another signal for a for the continuation of the downtrend I would suggest a uh, you wait for another confirmation on the next candle um, preferably a uh, bearish candlestick before you jump in and if you see that you have a huge candle wick uh, on the candlestick on the bullish candlestick then uh, be careful because that means there are lots of buyers the pressure is strong so uh, be aware of that now we can move on to number five this one is called bearish on neck uh, pattern so the other one was bearish in neck pattern and this one is uh, bearish on neck pattern this one also consists of two candlesticks again the market is in a downtrend just um, remember that the difference if I wasn't clear the bearish in neck means that uh, the second the bullish candlestick goes into uh, the body of the bearish candlestick so it goes into it uh, it comes back up uh, and goes into it but the on neck uh, does not so that's the difference between these two the uh, the on neck formation it comes near the close or at the close of the bearish candlestick while the in neck will obviously as the name says it goes inside the body of the candlestick. so that's the only difference between these two so if I wasn't clear um, that's the difference that's the only difference otherwise they look exactly the same two candlesticks and one of them is with a gap that's the on neck because it comes on its neck 
and there is either a gap or uh, it closes exactly as where the previous candlestick closed or it goes up uh, to its body and uh, in which case it's in neck uh, of the candlestick so uh, the next one number six is bearish three line strike pattern it consists of four candlesticks you see three bearish candlesticks going down so the black ones they're going down and then you have a big jump engulfing pattern uh, if you have watched the previous uh, Japanese candlestick <coughs> videos then you should know uh, what en engulfing pattern means it means that it engulfs it covers the body of the previous candlesticks so that's an engulfing pattern uh, so these are buyers pushing the price back up to where it dropped from uh, that's why we get this engulfing pattern so there is a apparently large volume of buyers entering the market and uh, but if the bearish uh, downtrend uh, if the bearish trend was strong then uh, uh, the sellers should get back into the market so make sure you have your confirmations like a resistance uh, line so you can see if the price for example is re just uh, retracing uh, back up only to keep falling or uh, and have uh, maybe an your own uh, indicators that you prefer for confirmation so there is one more pattern I want to show you very separating line patterns it consists of two candlesticks. Kind of uh, looks like the it looks like the neck pattern, if you remember, but it's kind of the other way around. So notice you don't start with a bearish candlestick and then a bullish candlestick, but you start with a bullish one and then you have a bearish one that uh, opens uh, the body of the bearish candlestick. The black one opens. Uh, at or near the close, uh, sorry, the opening of the bullish candlestick. So remember the first one, the white one goes up, right? So it closes up there and then the other one it opens uh, at where uh, the um, the bull candlestick opened and then goes down and closes bearish. So this pattern also means that, uh, well, probably the support uh, at where the bull candle started dead and hold. So that's why uh, the bearish candlestick started there and made that line into a resistance instead and uh, pushed down. So that's also another uh, continuation pattern uh, for the downtrend. And of course, you want to have some confirmations as usual and um, for example make sure your stochastic isn't all oversold uh, because sometimes you will have fake candles like this dropping below support and then uh, a large volume of buyers come in and then it shoots up back in so uh, make sure you have enough confirmations uh, and uh, check out the other videos and uh, we will make some more I'm, I think I'm gonna cover uh, for next time, I'm going to cover um, about bullish reversals as well, because I covered bullish continuation, so this time is about reversals. So make sure you subscribe and uh, tune in next time. And also look at the video I just put up recently about uh, how to trade, uh, how to take a trade based on price action. You will definitely learn how to draw support and resistance lines. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next week.